Hello, welcome back. Okay, now that we've got everything prepared, we now need to get familiar with the WordPress page pages. This way, we know how to build it and bring our ideas together. I already know how to build this site, so you don't need to worry about this site. You just need to follow as I'm doing it. First, I want to introduce you to a very, very important plugin. And this plugin, when you go and install installed plugins and this actually you can delete this because this is generated by WordPress itself so you don't need these plugins there so they can actually go okay actually it's already been deleted that's why it's giving that error okay so I want to introduce you to this plugin the bold plugin bold plugin is a, a page builder that you can drag and drop Pick, um, a drag and drop uh, fills, arrows, and basically it's so easy to use. So you will need to know coding to you build your site on this. There's other builders that are very very good as well. And just to give you hints, if you have if you encounter them, just know that they are very good. So there's one called WP Bakery. It's one of the best. I would recommend anyone that has a bit of experience on WordPress to go on here and buy their plugin. They are very, very good. The good thing about this plugin, you can actually create add-ons yourself and add it on top of the plugin. It, it, this plugin is actually very, very similar. They are like brothers and sisters, to be honest. But then we have other ones. We have um, the Elemental. Elementor plugin is actually the simplest because it's more of a front-end base rather than a back-end base. So you kind of edit your site by seeing exactly what you're doing. It's good. I think you might find it a bit, uh, a bit, bit for us as a developers, it's not as flexible for us as it seems, but it's a very, very good tool for non-developers. So it's nice to check it out if you're interested. These are the two ones that I would recommend, plus the one that I'm using here, which is the Bold Builder. Okay, so the Bold Builder is installed. We have it. So first we go on all pages. Okay, so we have these. We don't actually need this one. So we'll just remove this. So we will now create our first page. And in our first page, we will then call it Home. And then we'll save. Okay. So now that we have saved our home we'll just give it a second let it build let it just come up switch to the editor so you can actually switch them around so when you say switch so this will give you just a text editor the normal wordpress text editor and when you say switch to the editor this will now give you the bold editor so the bold editor here the plus means it opens up so that you can it opens and gives you a row so you can start working on it so this itself is a section so please do not worry a lot about this just follow as i am doing it now and everything will be as easy as it comes so here first of all we have our section when we create this so forget about the row we just concentrate on the section for now so in this section we are going to now click, uh, cl um, click on the pencil just after the plus. So that means editing. In here, we want to create a hero image. That's the first thing we want to do. We want to have a hero, hero image. So now the hero image needs to fill the screen max width. So what we need to do, we need to tell it the spacing. We want the spacing to be very to large to be large. We want the bottom spacing to be large as well. And we want a full screen. Okay. And we want the vertical to be bottom. Okay. Please just do as I'm doing at the moment. And we don't really want a lazy load on this because it's your hero image. If you put a lazy load background, it will take a bit more time before it loads up. So you don't really want this. Now that we've done this, we need to go to the next section, which is the design section. In the design, what we do is we have to select a color scheme. So I will select the, this one because it's a hero image. So we just put an overlay darkness on it. So, so we say light front, 
which is the light font so the color will be white on the font and the background will be dark so we do that we leave the background color because we're using the color scheme of that okay now we select an image okay so images we can either go on google and get images or i can just give you i will give you the images on the course on the um, on the coursework and uh, files if you do not have if you can't get access to the course files please let me know and i have no issue to give you it however to carry on we need to now select an image background so we don't have it here so i need to go and get it from my computer and drag and drop it in okay now that i dropped in i'll say select and now i will say i don't want an overlay because we already have this inherit color now but i want a, a, a parallax so on the parallax parallax is basically when you're scrolling down a little bit and you can see a bit more movement of the image so i will say i want it to be 0 0.7 of the parallax okay so then we come here we leave it alone because we're not using video then we come here, we leave it alone because at the moment this is a, a default setting, so we'll just leave it as it is. Okay. The custom, um, same here, we leave it as it is because we are actually not setting any dates or anything there, so we will leave it as it is. We'll submit that, and when we submit that, now that we finish the section path, now we need to come to the next path, which is the row. So we click on the row and make sure that it's all default. So the gaps is default, everything is default there. We come to the design, we make sure that it's inherited from the color scheme that we've decided. We come here as well, the responsive, we make sure that it's the same. Custom, the same. We don't need to worry about them. Now that we have done this, now we need to bring, we need to click on the column first and see the column how the column itself is being set up us so now the column is set so this is a problem because the column is where we actually going to insert our images our text into it like the the hero image text on top of it so we want actually the align to be centered rather than it be on the left and we want it to be a bit more in the bottom and we want it to fade in rather than no animation so we just want to make it a bit more spicy and bring the like a bit more animation inside it so now that we've done this we can actually now if we want we can go and get, grab a design if we want to be honest i won't worry about this i'll just leave it as it is it's fine so i'll come here and just make sure everything is as default and then i'll say submit now we have done this now the next section is adding the content inside it so so to add um, a content inside this column i need to click on this plus button so when you click on this it means add an element so now i need to now search for the element so the element we're looking for is a header okay so we see here header line and when we click on this header line we'll just forget about this for now so we will then put in um, our header line so we will say there are um, actually there are many many application applications of the UAV technology that might surprise okay i want this but what also i want is i want it to um i want to have the word application to be underlined so what that means is this actual text field does accept html so if you know a bit of html you can actually add a html code this u means underline and actually i said i want the underline to stop here so the underline will stop here whenever you create html tag you plot you do this this slash this will means i want it to start from here and stop here okay you don't really need to do this if you don't want to this is only a plus so i'm just kind of showing you different ways on on doing things 
So here I want to add it another place again. So I'll say you and then I'll say on here and I'll say there as well. OK, so we've done that. Now what we want to do is we want to fix the font. So if we scroll down a little bit, we want it to be header to we want it to be huge because it's a hero text and leave it as a line that's inherit because remember it when we say inherit it's going to inherit whatever the column is okay so there from there we will just look and make sure everything is okay and defaulted and then we'll look on the font and make sure that the font is the same you know everything is smooth and the url this is only if we want it to redirect it to somewhere else when they click on the text we don't want to do that at the moment and um, so we just check on the rest to make sure everything is smooth so we'll say save now that we've done this so the first step is done now what we want to do is we want to add more spices more spicy things on the on 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 this so let's add a space okay so to add a space in here below here we still select this arrow and then type the word separator okay so in here in here so we'll say no spaces but i want it to be medium the bottom space top space is no medium and none and then i want it to be that uh, defaulted so you've got your space here now that we've done that now we want to add below here we want to add a button so how to add a button same way add a plus sorry i clicked on the wrong one plus oops sorry colon yeah sorry about that now here we now search for button we click on the button and in the button here we will then get write anything we want so i'll say get started okay so get started we don't need an icon so we'll just forget that for now we want it to be in the left and what we can do if we want to add a url here we can add a url i'll leave a hash there for now it's because we don't want it to be added into url and leave it like that and then the design so we can design it a little bit if we want make the size to be medium maybe and actually make it dark so that it can stand out so we'll make it dark font light background and we will fill it rather than it's been an outline we want it to be full colored so we'll say field and then we'll leave it as inherit and as an inline width so we'll then leave this and these to be the same and then we'll say submit so first we have done our hero image now we'll update this okay now that we have done this we need to see how it looks on the front end okay so we're going to click on preview changes one thing is i will advise you don't panic if the site is not what you think because there might be something that we need to do to make it look like what you want so what we do we say preview changes okay so we see that that's obviously not what we want to see so how to fix this is we will i think it's because there is a site there is um, a setting that we need to fix so that it can be full width to fix this let's go and actually check the customize again that we did on the earlier video so in here we'll then go to general settings and then we will scroll down and see actually what is this saying here now what we need to understand in here is this is a global sentence okay so until you actually tell it it will always stick to that so i will say the light is fine i will say no sidebar okay and i will say default obviously straight away you've seen it dot it did some changes and our hero image is done i'll then save it published and then close this so we have now done our hero image before we go to the next creating more stuff more more elements on this page we are now going to stop this video and in the next video we are actually going to set up the menu on the top bar so that it can start looking to shape after that we will then continue building our home page
I'll see you in the next video.